Hello world, do you remember these Fatshark 1.3 gigahertz receivers that plug into the Fatshark goggles? Well, there was a big story on that. There was a version 1, which I have here in my hand, and then there was a version 2, and now there's a version 3. So I want to follow up on the videos I did on version 1 and version 2, and talk about version 3 and the improvements to that. These are modules that plug right into your Fat Shark goggles. You just take off the cover, plug it into the provided slot, put the cover back on and attach your antenna, and then you can receive 1.3 gigahertz video transmission from your aircraft. So as a recap, I tested version 1 in my Twin Star plane, and it had the digital video transmitter from ReadyMade RC, and I had a set of circular polarized antennas. I tried adjusting the vector display, the Eagle Tree vector display, to make the characters stop shimmering and uh, was pretty much unsuccessful. I could get them to stop but then I couldn't read the display. And also the trees were flickering. Any high contrast areas that were in the video field would flicker or shimmer and just make it pretty much unusable. Then version 2 came out and it was a recall. I actually got version 2 free but it was no improvement at all on the video. You can still see that the Vector OSD had flickering characters making it hard to read and the trees, the leaves on the trees and whatnot were shimmering and it still was no improvement. They did improve the range. I heard that they removed one resistor inside the unit and that improved the range of the module but the video was no better and also both modules the audio was not compatible with the United States transmitters like the digital transmitters that I was using so here we are almost a year later and we've got version 3 in the goggles so these are the same goggles the Fat Shark uh, Dominator V2 same ones I was using before same circular polarized antennas from video aerial systems. These are the blue beams. Same radio. Same plane with the vector Eagle Tree Vector OSD or flight controller if you want to call it that. Same video transmitter. This is a digital 400 milliwatt transmitter. Same one I was using before. Same camera. Everything is identical. The only thing that's different is I got the V3 module in here. So let's give it a try and see what we find out. Okay, so I've got everything powered up here and looking at it through the goggles. I'm recording it on the DVR in my Fat Shark goggles and this is what we have. So I don't see any flickering display at all. And I am on, right now, on the 1280 megahertz. That's channel 9 and I don't see any flickering. I'm just gonna pick up the plane here a second and it's the same sort of sunny day we had before. It's not always sunny here. I mean we get rain all the time. We've just had a week of rain. So they're out there golfing. Everything looks good. Video is totally clean. Now I don't know what to tell you about the range on these because I haven't range checked it at all. Now I'm gonna stop the recording and go ahead and put it on 1258. So as you can see, I've got it on channel D now, which is 1258. And um, pretty much the same thing. It looks crystal clear to me. And uh, let's pick up the plane again. Take it out here. Now just out of curiosity, I'm wondering what it looks like when I aim it up at the sun. Does that do anything to it? That's why we like sunny days. Where is that sun? It's right over there, I guess. Yeah. So anyway, I don't see any flickering. Looks good to me. Now, this, this one didn't work with the audio either. The audio with U.S. receivers did not work. But I did go in and uh, change the uh, trap filter inside the receiver so that uh, I could pick up audio and I'll just talk into the mic can you hear me I hope you can hear me yeah it's still probably gonna be a little bit fuzzy because that's just the nature of the beast 
but uh, this is what the audio sounds like once you get the trap filter fixed and it now works with US transmitters like this digital transmitter from ready-made RC so here are the three fat shark 1G3 receiver modules and this is version 1, 2, and 3. Version 1 and version 2 are pretty much the same as you can see here with the, with the covers removed. Uh, you can see that there's virtually no difference. In fact, the only difference was really they removed a resistor right in this area to give version 2 more range. Uh, other than that, they're identical. And then version 3 came out. Now it's actually got eight channels versus four channels on the first two revisions. It has a completely different layout and from the top of course it has the orange instead of the blue and also has the Fat Shark uh, part number right here that the others didn't have. Inside it's a different layout as I said. I don't know how they rearranged it but it's, it's obvious that it's different. These uh, trap filters here are still the same and the audio still doesn't work on all three of them with the US transmitters. So if you're in Europe, great, or you have the Fat Shark transmitter, the 200 milliwatt transmitter, great, it'll work. But other than that, if you're in the United States and have other transmitters, these won't receive the audio. But you can replace the trap filter. I think there's a video on the internet you can watch to see how to do that. So I removed these two trap filters and I replaced the 6.5 one with a 5.5 right there. The other one you can see is missing. So that fixes the problem. So that's a brief look at what's inside the box. Keep your light.